everyone, welcome to the first day Fun Bridge Points tournament. We have 10 deals with imp scoring and more than 6 hours left till the end of the tournament. So we will have already quite a lot of scores, hopefully over 400, but more uh, will join. Let's play and see how it goes from the beginning. We've got a pass, one no trump sequence, having two kings potentially behind the strength. So we hope for two tricks, not enough to make any bid. I could double here, diamonds for the lead, but see, whenever opponents open a no trump, it's almost guaranteed that they are going to end up declaring. So doubling immediate behind for the lead doesn't make much sense. So after two clubs, two diamonds, East is having no four card major. So that leaves us with a pretty tricky lead. Um, another thing is when opponents stop at two no trumps, they usually have around 23 high card points. We've got seven, which is 30 together. Pardon has around 10 high card points. That's the logic um, or not the logic, that's the simple math. Now here comes the logic and um, that's around 10 high card points. That's three honors. It can be a couple of jacks, but it's three honors. We've got two honors. Partner's got three honors. If we manage to score all of them, well, we can beat two no trumps. And this is Sims, so it's all about beating the contract. Over tricks do not matter that much in this scoring. Beating or making six imps difference. One over trick, one imp difference. So right now, uh, I expect that East will have four or five clubs, more potentially five clubs. So it's depending if he's short in diamonds. I've got two entries and I've got a five card suit. Although we can expect strength with East, I probably still want to lead the diamond. Um, one of the majors could be good, but I would need to hit my partner's five card. And that can be pretty dangerous. Yet, again, what we said before, in imps we try to beat the contract, so uh, just taking the risk and try to lead the right major might be a good idea. I hope that I will find a dummy with only two or potentially three diamonds and partner having an honor. Okay, two diamonds here, um, the ace might be not that good. If partner has the queen of diamonds, that would be perfect, both kings are behind. So that would be potentially two entries. And I can establish diamonds uh, yet. Okay, I probably should have played a high one here to show the count. Hmm. Okay, I take this one. Partner might have the ace though. But if partner has two aces, nothing in clubs, that might be that might be kind of it. He might still have the queen of hearts. Okay, that's good. We still know that the ace of spades is somewhere, so I might just keep the spade till before. And now we've got the rest. So could we do anything? They had five club tricks, one heart is six. The diamond lead gave away two extra tricks. But the question is, could we do anything else? We've got two spade tricks, one diamond is three. Potentially we can establish two hard tricks if North played a heart towards the king and we play through the doubleton ace. Uh, but eventually we have to either establish a diamond trick for opponents or a spade trick when they play the queen. I actually could take the ace, but we didn't have the tempo. Uh, I think very hard to beat. We even got an imp here, so nobody managed to beat it. 
the double dummy says that opponents can always make always make two no trumps so I'm happy with a small plus score just playing standard 17 high card points but a semi-balanced hand and it's more important that we think trinks than a semi-balanced hand singleton king of hearts might be useless if we are not going to play no trumps and partner has some length to provide stoppers because then we might have five club tricks ace of diamonds is six potentially a hard trick and the king of spades that's eight and we didn't expect it much from partner yet so definitely i would like to reach three no trumps uh, with this hand maybe four spades if partner shows spades but how to bid this hand i will bid it as 18 20 18 19 balanced i expect the bidding to go one heart one club one heart two no partner ask for a free card i show him that i have doubles in hard and we end up free no that's my expectation okay um everything changed one club three hearts preempt now the singleton might be useful and i've got definitely some extra so what i need for a slam is ace queen in spades and king of clubs then we have five spade tricks potentially six six club tricks and an ace so i want to push but how to push that can be four hearts or i can just take over and four no is not considered to be a key card asking here i guess four minor either so i have to bid four hearts to show a spade fit first and now if i bid four no that should be key card in spades okay that is key card in spades still i don't know about the club but because of the preempt and this is logic because of the preempt west might be weak in high card points so if he has ace queen and heart seventh um not vulnerable that might be justified so even if partner doesn't have doesn't have the king of clubs we can finesse it and we have entries with trumps what i need is ace queen in spades and partner okay partner showed us strong now he has two aces we file the queen hmm i'm wondering now maybe i don't want to play spades actually because if partner has ace of spades and ace of hearts i can dump the spade partner doesn't have the spade queen so six clubs actually might have <coughs> better chances who knows is six clubs like option to play see this is not match points i want to play the slam which is the biggest chances to make and show me okay king of clubs perfect two aces empty spades let's say one suit will break badly and it's very likely it might be spades so if e has four spades queen jack well um we have a jackpot here now i think i just draw trumps and play the diamond finesse i don't try to play anything funny here um again an over trick in a minor in a slam contract probably not a difference i guess maybe an imp yeah maybe an imp okay clubs breaks badly but i don't mind just in case both spades drop i can dump the diamonds okay spades do not drop so six spades making as well because they split but if north actually plays spades and there comes the diamond lead and the finesse is offside ah uh, that would be a tough oh the finesse is on that could be a tough one to make but 
Yeah, I guess people will normally reach Freno. What a preempt here. But look, if you just switch a singleton club for a singleton spade, six spades are in trouble. Maybe six no, actually, I could have played, but I hope that if I discard the spade, I can rough a spade in the worst case scenario. Um, but maybe six no could be good. I could also discard diamonds on hearts. And I win 10. Wow, I feel good. Do, 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 do. Okay, well that feels a little bit strange that that many players decide to stop when we actually have a nuts. This would be really close to, uh, <coughs> to a grand if I actually know partner has the king of clubs. Because once Spartan has the ease of hearts, uh, the finesse in clubs might be off. Okay, next board. Uh, Barney passes and we've got four honor tricks. Being vulnerable. Still, we might have a game if Barney have spades and shortness in hearts. So, I want to try it. If we double here, which might be a little bit safer not to be doubled for 5800, it will be more difficult to reach a game here. So I will just bid a no. Okay, partner asks. That's actually good. Two no. What's two clubs? Oh, it's diamonds. Oh, sorry, partner. Uh, I fucked up. Now I'm wondering if I want to play diamonds or not. I didn't notice. I didn't realize that Arjun is playing transfers and two diamonds as transfer to the opponent's suit is actually the stamen bid, uh, which makes sense. It's okay. I just forgot it. When you see the alert, just look at that. If the, if it's the first bid, uh, you can trust uh, the engine. If it is further on, it's better not to look because the description might be off. If diamonds are running, we might have free now, but we might not have communication though. I prefer to play in diamonds, not to go down many if partner is weak with six. Okay, partner six five. Wow. Okay, this feels better than two no. We just have a spade loser, maybe a club loser, maybe a diamond loser. I just draw the trumps. Because again, minor, only over tricks. I've got enough entries. We know that ease has points, so let's jump with king, dropping the queen. Probably a little bit uh, more probable here. And in clubs, five and an eight. Okay, what cards? are we missing only nine and a queen so actually if I even if I play cross to north and play the jack of clubs and east follows with the nine I cannot guess or we will not get the signal of count remember that east west plays low high with odd number but it's only up to eight the nine already is not a count signal. So that's why we cannot read it. And I don't think there is a big chance that E's has three clubs. So I just play from top. Here we go. So we just lose a club and make 11 tricks. Will be pretty difficult to make uh, five diamonds here. So I, I'm, I hope I'm okay with a plus score. 
look they just lose a club heart two diamonds so they can make free spades sorry free hearts well free spades as well no we have a rough plus three various contracts here free no makes for some players okay so if I got six seven eight I've got only eight tricks no six seven eight nine I've got nine tricks six diamonds because the queen drops ace king and an ace okay so at the end I could actually pass that they could catch five spade tricks though I don't think that uh, well they can because the player with five spades king queen jack is on the lead but obviously um, still they lead partner suit quite funny interesting results really interesting results I'm wondering what's happening there that I still get a plus score where do we have like big numbers we don't look how many players got like a huge number somewhere for East West okay I'm happy with three imps on this board it's good go sideways and a very similar hand as before but this time we have a singleton ace instead of singleton king and ace king third another difference is that partner is a past hand we've got four theoretical losers and one is third round it can disappear on um, many things but the ace of spades singleton that's a problem because the suit is blocked and we might not have an entry to north to discard diamonds or to discard a heart even if partner has king of spades and ace of diamonds we can expect a diamond lead and we have no entry so eight of clubs might be the key card unless it's king or queen of hearts i'll start with one club we can still have a slam here so this is potentially a slam but do i try to risk a slam i mean partner shows the maximum It's like similar story. Do we play hearts or do we play clubs actually? If they lead spades, I need I need ace of diamonds if they lead spades because then I dump the diamond on a heart. I can always lose a club. And partner must have something. He might have he might have the king of clubs, queen jack. Opponents might have ace king in diamonds, but they might not figure it out. Ah. Uh, But the issue is that West might have Ace King in diamonds and East just bit weak. And I think East will lead a spade. While West might lead a diamond from King Queen or Ace King. I just close my eyes and bid a slam and I want East to be on the lead. See, this is the logic. This is putting pressure on opponents. And uh, we have the risk by bidding a slam without ace king and diamonds or without king of clubs and a diamond trick but if we get a spade lead uh, we're quite okay i think on the other hand after a spade lead it might be difficult to draw trumps and uh, get clubs but i'm taking the risk i'm just bidding six hearts here okay king queen queen jack and a king we're good now we've got 12 tricks pretty easy yeah we just draw the trumps catch all the clubs all good 13 tricks see just using logic uh, since partner promised like eight count he must have either the diamond stopper or long clubs he could have a little bit uh, could he have a spades honor I don't know maybe yes maybe not but easy nine imps without using a key card, just uh, taking the logic. And if you want to learn more uh, about the logic, guys, just join my bridge logic seminars. If you go to milanbridge.com, uh, then you will find out more information about that. 
uh, we had a recent one uh, on Tuesday and you can uh, if you miss them out you will have the previous webinars here so this is uh, where you can watch them. guys welcome to Swift okay so we can just stop the sound but this is how it looks like um, I discuss a couple of boards with the audience and we do really deep uh, analysis of uh, just few hands but looking at it from various perspectives trying to figure out uh, the honor tricks and uh, counting them and using logic to figure out both the bidding and the card play uh, or the defense can be pretty tough if you become a full member this is uh, all free just 10 euros per month uh, you will get all the links you've got the calendar and if you become a full member you have an automatic access to all the other content uh, which is already quite large okay so two slams so far in four boards and I hit them right not uh, standard here on fun bridge okay pardon is a past hand we're vulnerable this hand is rubbish if we count losers we will come up to too many now partner preempted after two clubs drury so I'm wondering what it is Pardon didn't open the reason might be that he has a side four card major so we might have a hard fit because it's not that he is bad diamonds right could be But I'm not trying to find any fishy sacrifices. Okay, maybe this way we establish the diamond trick. I don't think we get a spade trick. Um, hope for one heart. Oh boy, really? So that was a pretty lousy diamond suit. Okay, spade back. Sorry, hard back. What's happening? So they've okay. They didn't finesse the club. They roughed my third owner, and now they finesse the spade. Oh, pity. And they discard a heart. Okay. Partner had a singleton, but no quick entry to both hands. See, he even didn't need it to discard the heart because he could rough it. So, four spades always makes. Now, the bidding might actually be interesting. I get plus three because some people try to overcall 800, 1100. Look, guys, like why? Um, so what you should do if to overcall or not, just count your losers. And this is, I mean, uh, sometimes count winners is easier. King of spades, king of hearts, two heart tricks. So if you have four winners, you've got nine losers. Okay. To make two hearts, imagine how much partner would need to have. Even three diamonds could be quite risky. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay, we start with 500 and it's not the end yet. So I'm quite happy uh, that they just end up boring four spades, scoring 10 tricks. 10 counts, an interesting hand with shortness in spades. Yet um, I will have time to show my hand in the second round if I pass. I limit my hand so for everyone who likes to open weak if you do then you are trying to stop 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 because you already upgraded your hand well if you pass first then you can bid 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 and show your shape because you limit your hand with the opening so passing first not a shame and very often if you pass first the bidding stays low while if you open you end up already third level uh, in the second round so now we can bid a double 
or we can have a sandwich no drum to show a minor and a major. Um, Arjun likes to play the 6 4, uh, and that's a little bit too overkill with a 6 4. Uh, we can also double to show 4 4. And yeah, I've got, I've got some points, so I will double here instead of bidding no trump. I wanted to fight for level. Didn't happen though. Okay, so two hearts was what? Like, I believe a suit. So we definitely lead our longer suit. Pardon's not helping. But if he's got an entry, the Queen of Diamonds might be an entry. Okay, now I win. And I've got a hard entry. I still want to play a low club just to put them under pressure. Because maybe partner has doubled in King of Diamonds. Oh, this is this is what's happening. So he voluntarily gave me a trick. Ah, so I don't play hearts. Oh boy. He tricked me well. Okay, he can take all the tricks. And he is live. But if I won the queen and switch to hearts, that's so difficult. Okay, but I could have guessed that. See, I was a little bit sloppy, actually. Oh, pity. Good bit, two hearts. Didn't find the lead. This is being vulnerable. We have five tricks to cash if I lead a heart. Losing five instead of winning 11. Not many people managed to beat it, though. Club lead, and club back, okay. And now they still... <coughs> what does this blocking spades mean? Okay, this doesn't make any sense. Why didn't they just cash all the spade tricks? Block the suit. Cashing them all, and we will be in troubles. At least we have to discard the hearts. And you can guess what's happening then. Now, cashing it, now it's too late. Because you unblock the ace. Oh, Arjun, you are giving it up. Pity, 16 M's thrown away. Because I didn't take my time and try to figure out the logic, didn't do the math. Why is Declare playing the diamond stupidly like he did? When he just could overtake the club and play the diamond towards the jack. See, that was logic and I missed it because I was too much focused on establish the clubs and I didn't do the math of what opponents have. That having the Ace of Hearts as entry is not fast enough to beat the contract. Logic. And logic sometimes takes time. Um, yeah. Okay, two no as minors. And I've got aces. And I've got diamonds. And partner is kicking me in. A... Okay, the bad thing here is that the suits breaks badly. That's the problem. My hand is strong, like really strong. I want to play a slam. Because partner betting my double should be I want to penalize them. Jeez. Maybe partner 6-5, then we are good. 
I don't like free no. 6-4 would be nice. Still, we know about a shortness. But if partner 6-4, I'm covering all minor losers because the diamond finesse will be on. And partner bid voluntarily twice. So king, queen, king, queen. Again, I can ask for key cards if partner bid five spades. Uh, still, we're not there, so I just bid six hearts. Because the finesse should be on. Okay, well, that's solid. But not good entries, though. I need to cross with spades first, which I'm not that happy about, because then they can get a spade rough. But I have to do it. Unfortunately, I have to do it. And I must hope that the diamond splits. Oh, uh, diamond king offside. What's this 2 no? What the hell? Okay, I'm not happy about this. And now they get a rough. I'm angry. I'm angry. Ooh. <laughs> okay but this was such a nice slam third one in a row ace of hearts on the good side I just needed the king of diamonds to be on when he showed five card suit good lead though I didn't have the tempo yeah, I still have to lose two tricks, so the slam is not on. If the diamond finesse is not on. Wow, okay. The slam could be on, because I could rough the king, but I don't have the tempo. Minus 10, so another 15 imps lost. Already 30 imps lost, guys, just to compare the final ranking. Two boards. But this was a little bit unlucky, I would say. Really a little bit unlucky. Diamond Finn has on. And this slam is good. Okay. 15 count. Balanced. 5 card major. But I don't have anything to protect. So I'm going to open a heart, not an O-Trump. The rebid might be a bit tricky, though. So... Now the question is, do I want to invite? Yeah, asking Jack is... Uh, almost a, not a solid suit, but if partner has doubleton, he doesn't have spades. So they're going to lead spades, but if partner is the queen, we might get two tricks. Even like the jack creates stop stoppers. Ten provide a stopper. Opponents are not bidding. So no one spade over called. Strange. No double. So no points in combination with spades. So I'm inviting here because this is imps. Three no. At least five cards in diamonds and a stopper in clubs. Who figured out this convention? What if you don't have the stopper in clubs? Okay, it looks like all is quite good. Okay, this is um, very helpful. So, five, seven, eight, nine. Probably should have tried the clubs, not the hearts. 
Why is West playing a dime at another club? Doesn't make any sense. Besides, you know that the hearts are splitting, but still doesn't make any sense. Okay, I've got time, so let's just catch the diamonds. Three of spades. Three of hearts. Got my trick. And I prefer to kind of squeeze us or figure it out later. What's happening here? Okay, so I could make more, but still doesn't answer playing a diamond and not a club. Because if they play a club, I have to guess the diamond trick or the heart. Nine imps. Just because I got a gift from the defense, but maybe also the bidding might help. Can always make though. So what happened there? They just bid one heart, two diamonds, 11 count. Okay, so pretty much natural. And now they switch to a club. And you have to guess the diamonds or the hearts. Tough. Hmm. Okay. See a misfit. But partner shows a strong hand, a six card. I've got a stopper. Kind of slow values. And I prefer to protect my king of clubs. So if partner has solid hearts, we might have free no. Hmm. Partner has quite solid hearts. Is this, is this from ace, queen, 10 something? 15 plus one, 9 is 24. So opponents have 16 high card points. If I get 5 hearts, 2 aces is 7, 1 club is 8. I need to score one more. So either I need to score all 6 hearts. Or I need to get a diamond or a spade. Five and a four, it's bad news. Yeah, that's bad news. Okay, I have to establish hearts. And I know they split badly. So I'm not actually sure if I want to play and squeeze myself. But I think it's okay. I can discard one spade and one club. They will play a spade now. Now I might be in troubles. We discarded already two clubs, right? I discarded a club. That was a mistake, actually. Because I think West has short diamond. Wait, he might still have like uh, only one club. 
16 count that was only one with east and still he might have the queen of clubs potentially I am in troubles this is what I hope for and that they don't have an entry uh, okay uh, they don't have an entry. King of spades wrongly positioned. They had those clubs. If I duck the diamonds, well, they will end play me anyway. Two, three, four, five. Um, could I have done anything? The double dummy says not, but you always like try to figure. Could I have done something? Yeah, I could. Winning with the jack of clubs. I could look at that so you win with the jack of clubs and now you start cashing the hearts you don't need a diamond you have to keep those clubs though you can discard one more diamond now I can still duck okay I didn't unblock I didn't unblock if I unblock he probably plays a spade so now I have to give them give them give him the club okay so that was a mistake not to unblock. I thought it doesn't matter, but see how small things matters. Okay, let's see. I really would like to make this one. So if you know, then just give away a trick. Don't squeeze yourself. Unblock. So now they cannot play a club. They cannot play a diamond. And they played a diamond. So I could make. But if they play a spade, I could cash all the hearts and maybe end play somehow west. But only if he makes a mistake. So this way I could make. And the difference is 11. So that's already 41 imps difference. Ooh, this can be swingy. Six teams on the line to win the tournament. But then you need to hit all the jackpots. Okay, 12 count, 5 card major, 2, 3, 4, 5 primary losers, 2 secondary losers. Always say it to yourself because that will actually tell you what to bid later on. Now... I actually don't mind who declares because I can either rebid a no trump or I can rebid two clubs two clubs shows the hand but doesn't show the strength uh, one no trump shows the strength and it says it's no trump oriented I am no trump oriented so I try to help partner because I don't really care which side declares Okay, so we, we still have to lose a diamond. Um, four, five, six, seven. Not enough. Six lead. Hard switch, I guess. No. Six 
six, seven, king, jack. So if the six is fourth best, it's fine. But I don't really have anything to play. So maybe I want them to play something for me. I still I can still lose two tricks. Okay, now they stopped. Now they stopped. Uh, okay, so this will be a tough one. Unless the nine of hearts drop, I don't see a chance. The ten of hearts. Yeah, because um, right now I can still lose one trick, but I have only four, five, six, seven. I start with seven, I've got seven. I can establish two extra heart tricks if the nine of hearts drop. I like the seven, but please give me the nine. No. Ah, they probably cash. Yeah, they cash the losing trick. It was so close. Maybe I could perform a squeeze there if the king of spades is on side. I could steal the trick number eight and there could have been something, though I don't have communication for squeeze. So that's a that's a problem. You know when you have four opposite two, four opposite two, five opposite one. There was like no no communication for uh, crossing after cashing all clubs. That was my only suit where I can communicate and uh, maybe spades, but also problematic there. Yeah, I guess if I bid two clubs and we declare from north, we might get a more favorable lead. I'm losing two, only few players managed, so another 14 imps. Well, that would be already 70 imps if you make this one. You can always make though. So let's have a look and learn. Bit two clubs, three no from the other side. And they got a spade lead. So they got one extra trick. So you duck this. You get a club. So far, like nothing bad happens. And you manage to establish a hard trick. Because they never ever play the diamonds. They just needed to play it once. Because they established only one spade trick. And they didn't unblock the spade. If they unblock the spade, they beat the contract. Because now they could have two spade tricks. Ah. Okay. Pretty bad defense, but what can you do? Um, like four deals swings that I didn't make, I'm still plus 16. Um, not like a great score for me, but not bad. I mean, 10 boards is still 1.6 sims per board. Uh, but I would like to hit one more of those four boards. Psycho Dad plus 55. And we calculated that if you hit everything right, 
you can have like plus 70 imps on this board so plus 55 or plus 50 c is solid still you cannot hit all the jackpots uh, on a 10 deals board and figel and katsu uh, that's the top ranking uh, omg slam leading the france list jacek and darush uh, just uh, one in behind and that can still change so congratulations guys uh, thank you for watching i hope to see you next week enjoy the weekend and um, take care ciao